Did you just get into raising quail and you're wondering if they can be kept with chickens? Well, that's the topic of today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're discussing keeping quail with chickens. Can it be done? I get this question a lot from new uh, quail owners. They think, well, I've got a chicken coop already. Can I not just fence a section of that off or hang some cages in it and keep my quail in that? Um, there's a couple of problems with that. First of all, uh, chickens have a much stronger immune system than quail do. And they tend to be carriers of diseases, uh, not necessarily showing symptoms of those diseases, that can be passed on to quail and can be deadly in quail. The most notable of those is Coriza, 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 I think I'm pronouncing that right, Coriza, C-O-R-Y-Z-A. It's an inflammation of the mucous membranes that a lot of chickens can carry not show any symptoms whatsoever, but if it gets passed on to your quail, it can be deadly in your quail because they're much more fragile, much more delicate. And you won't know you've got a problem until it's too big of a problem to really contain or control. So it's really not a good idea to keep them really in the exact same proximity of chickens. Now, as far as like free ranging them goes, well, forget about that. You're not really going to free range Caternix quail anyway. They're not going to come back in the evenings. They're not going to uh, hang around, they're going to go wherever they want to go. They're not very smart birds. So, you know, don't really think about that from that standpoint. And also, running the quail and the chicken together at the same time, chickens are so much bigger and can be very, very aggressive. Um, they are predators, after all. They will go after mice, they will go after some of those kinds of things. It's not unheard of for them to go after a quail, kill a quail, and eat a quail, especially a young one, a smaller one. So, there's several reasons why you probably don't want to keep your quail and your chickens together. Now, with that being said, if you look around the internet, you will find people that say, I've done it for years, never had a problem. And that's probably true. It can be done. But you do stand a much, much higher risk of killing off your quail, infecting them with some kind of disease that you're not really able to cure if you do run them in close proximity with your chickens. So how close is close proximity? Probably somewhere around 50 feet. You want to keep somewhere around 50 feet of separation. You don't run, if you're running like tractor systems with your chickens and you're following them with your quail, you might want to switch that and do that the other way around. And you might also want to give it like a, at least a week, a week and a half's worth of rest before you run your quail over that same ground. Those are just a couple of safeguards that you can do to make sure that your quail are kept pretty healthy. Now, another news what I've got going on here is I've got birds hatching right now, so I'm going to have some new birds to show you here in about a week or two. Uh, whenever they hit the brooder box, well, it shouldn't be much more than a week, but it may take me a week or two to get the video shot and get it all uploaded for you guys. But i got some cool things to show you in that hatch coming up, some very unique birds. I think you're going to be excited to see that, so stay tuned for that in the future. Make sure you guys leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, God bless.